I must first tell you the story of the Minotaur. Do you know about Minotaur? Is it Minotaur or Yost? I don't know. So are you lost in the maze of life? Like it's 2017. I suppose it's, a, it's sort of like 2017. And you walk into a, a life and it's kind of like um, a maze and like every day is a bit different. Every day the maze changes, very slightly, you know. So you sort of walk through life and, well one day you might be in the checkout and you think, oh I ain't got any cash, I have to use my credit card. So that's a turn in the maze. You might say, I'm having a baby, that's another big turn in the maze. And you walk into this maze, and you wonder why you're walking through the maze. Are you trying to find the exit of the maze? Or are you trying to find the minus one? Are you looking for the exit of the maze? Or are you trying to find the minus one? But then again, I don't suppose you remember anything about Greek mythology here. Did I tell you the story of the Minotaur? Have you ever heard the story of the Minotaur? I think it was Jason and the Argonauts or something. Arconauts, that sounds like a bit spacey, doesn't it? Oh, anyway, yeah. Yeah, no, James. That's a good mate of mine. But anyway, yeah. So, um, yeah, you're walking through a maze. You don't know where life's going to take you, and it's a bit of a mystery to a thingy. But anyway, I, 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 did. I wasn't going to make a movie. I don't know what to make a movie. I want to, well, one of my customers, his wife died. They've turned off the fucking ivy. I I I I know it's actually well. I'll tell you, twenty um twenty. They actually stopped the was it IVF treatment? Was it, it was like the the um probably the intravenous drip treatment or whatever to feed the body. So no, they stopped some machine or the. Yeah. To, so, that the, so that she could die, but she wasn't. Did you give her any morphine? Morphine is fucking great, actually. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet. But anyway, uh, one of my mates has got squashed be behind a car as well. But she's right now at the moment, it's because they're fixed the pants, so that's great. But anyway, yeah, um, no, 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 I mean, I mean, I mean okay, they yeah, sort of stop the medication or something. And I know that I've, no, I've noticed in the news, in the news, there's this thing called Fast Track. Fast Track in the hospitals, National Health Service hospitals. I'm very embarrassed. Clement Attlee, I'm very embarrassed. So that I am Clement Attlee, I'm very embarrassed about the National Health Service. It was supposed to feed the people and um, to heal, help the people who were sick. And now they're doing this fast track when they stop the patient. It was getting old or dying, so let's stop the water, let's stop the food or whatever. And they do this fast track, which is sick in the fucking head. To ignite us, it's okay, because if you want to die, die, I don't care. So if you want to die, die, I don't care. But the National Health Service is pretty sick at the moment. And it's sort of stopping treatment for people if they're getting near death, sort of. And they sort of apparently they stop feeding or really looking after them at all. Really. You know, I don't give a fuck. I see a bit of to my teeth. That's what the National Health Service did. Now, do you know, I haven't been to a dentist for 20. For th 20. 25 years. Last time I went to the dentist, they said, I'm going to have to take out all your teeth. Because what happened was, when I was a kid, I had, I had um, fillings, then I had crowns put in the teeth. The crowns, or little pigs, all fell out. And I've sold this a thousand times before. And then they put crowns in them, and the crowns fell out, because they were little spikes. I went to the dentist and said, right, now we've got to take out all your teeth. I said, what? You've already drilled out most of them. Ah. Uh.
that's all I got left. A funny thing is, I haven't been to a dentist for about 20 years, and the stumps are still there. I haven't lost my stumps. I still chew in my stumps. And that's where you've drilled. That's where you fucking destroyed my teeth, like. You've drilled them out, you cunts. I hate you. I fucking hate you. I really fucking hate you. Uh, uh, I saw I got left. I see, uh, so, hey, I, I'm a wise man, fuck. Oh, I, 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 I'm a wise man, fuck. Fuck all left of his bottom teeth. Still at the top deck, though. The top deck are doing all right. You see, if the dentist don't touch your teeth, you might keep your teeth for life. But the dentist destroys your teeth. Honest to God, the dentist destroys your fucking mouth. They will take out all your teeth because they're a bit brown. They're not quite pearly white. So they'll take out all your teeth and you'll end up with no teeth whatsoever. I'm not letting, I'm not going near a dentist ever, ever again in my entire fucking life. I've still got my top deck. Look at that. That's quite good. That's still, they fucked it up a bit because it's supposed to be Bugs Bunny. I can't really do Bugs Bunny when the teeth are spitting in. It's like, Nee, 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 what's up, dog? See, I can't really do Bugs Bunny, you know, nee, what's up, dog? If the teeth are pointing this, you see, and they're supposed to be pointing outwards a bit. Teeth, they're supposed to point outwards sometimes a little bit. I like them. I think buck teeth are pretty. I, I'm sorry, but, sorry to contradict everybody in the universe, but I like buck teeth. My teeth turn inwards because the dentist fucked up my mouth. Because apparently I had an overbite. Mmm, mmm. Well, an overbite. Well, a bit like this. See, the dentist never fixed my overbite because that's my jaw. It's my jaw. And sometimes, yeah, having an overbite is alright. I've had an overbite in my fucking life. And it's quite comfortable sometimes. Hey? What? Who? Who? Uh, I still got me overbite. Uh, and, oh, no, cover your teeth. Because you've got an overbite. Fuck you. I like talking like this. I really do. It's quite nice sometimes. Look, I look like an Oscar. <laughs> but, but I've got a dislocated jaw. You never knew about my jaw. You can't fix a jaw by fixing the teeth, Mum. That's one thing, Mum. You cannot fix a jaw by fixing the teeth. To exercise. Mm, ah, mm, ah, mm, 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 ah, mm, ah, mm, ah, mm. Twiddly do, twiddly do, how are you? Can you see my view? Twiddly do, twiddly do, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how are you? Anyway, yeah, so life's a bit weird, but I mean, sort of like, it's basically the jaw, but the jaw's not really a problem because it's, um, I've got a double jointed jaw. <laughs> you like that, you see. I uh, still got me overbite, as much as I ever had it. I never really had that much of an overbite. It's a snow bite now, isn't it? Oh, 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 overbite. Overbite. Yeah, yeah. Put your jaw back like that, see? And then you've got quite a nice normal mouth. It's, it's a very clever little face, this one. I'm going to keep it, if that mind. I haven't kept a face before. I've only been here since 1966. Do, do you mind awfully if I actually keep this body forever? I mean, for eternity. This actual body, right? And I've never done this before, you see. Never actually been done before. You never have, no one's ever kept a body for eternity before. We all fucking die. All right, we all fucking die. But I want to keep this particular body. 
This actual one. Look at it. Fucking steak. 50 fucking one. 50 fucking one. And quite a bit. I want to keep this body for eternity. How about that? I've, I'm getting pissed off. I've been going round and round in history ever since the fucking world fucking began, you cunt. Okay? I want to keep this particular body. Warts and all. <laughs> well, I can get someone to a pet, maybe. But I want to keep this body and stay here forever and ever. And ever and ever and ever and eternity. Because if I didn't have a body, I wouldn't be able to paint much, would I? Okay, name me one artist who could paint without a body. Right? said, so name me one fucking artist who can paint without a body.